Well, what a game we have in store for you today. The hype has been building all week and the fans are pouring into the stadium. The tension palpable. Stay with us. We'll have all the action for you live right here on EA TV. Good evening and welcome to Alcor, welcome to the Al Bayt Stadium, the venue for this one. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position and I'm joined for expert analysis by my partner Stuart Robson. And it is a first test for these two countries here at the 2022 FIFA World Cup. It's the Netherlands against Qatar. Well, thanks Derek, this is such an important game. Both sides will be desperate to start this group well. Let's hope we see some great football today. Here's the starting 11 for the Netherlands. Virgil van Dijk plays with Matthijs de Ligt in central defence. And the tactical configuration has two players in attack from the very outset. And here's the Qatar starting 11. Well, I like the look of their front three today. It has a combination of pace, skill and intelligence. But will they get enough of the ball? Because their midfield could be overrun here. And now they get the ball rolling. Well, we have seen signs of an improvement by the Netherlands recently. The question is, are they in the conversation when it comes to teams who might win the World Cup? Of course, when we think of the Netherlands, we all think of that great team of the 1970s, headlined by Johan Cruyff. Well, I also covered the Dutch in 2014 when they did so well to get to the semi-finals. But since then, they've had a torrid time in competitive competitions. But they are getting better. They've got an old coach back. I think they do OK in this tournament. Keeping it moving dynamically. Can he play it in? Terrific block. Deflected behind. Corner forthcoming. Trying to deliver it accurately. A disappointing effort, making the keeper's life a bit too easy. De Ligt. Onto de Jong. Steven Berghuis. An important interception. Ali. Janssen has it. Still level here, but the pressure escalating. Hassan Al Haidos. Ali Al Haidos. Defensive Brazilians to shut them down. Daily Blitz. Take some progress with the ball at his feet. Fine tackle there to prevent the chance.
Al Moez Ali. Room to maneuver on the wing. Who can he pick out? He got nothing but ball. He's conceded the corner. And played short. Hassan. Hatem. Al Haidos. Opportunity to deliver the cross. Showing patience as well as persistence in the build up. Good looking sequence. Well, couldn't find a teammate, unfortunately. And a throw in to come. One minute of stoppage time has been added on. Stephen Bergwijn. That is that for the first half here. Well, such is the lot of an attacking player. Some days it works for you, on other days, not at all, Stuart. Well, he's been very quiet so far. He just hasn't got away from his marker. He needs to find a spark from somewhere and start testing this goalkeeper. Away they go again. Second half is underway here. Janssen giving it a try and that's easy peasy for the keeper well as you can see from those stats they're just not creating enough they need to play at a quicker tempo get the ball into the danger area and get more players in the box make the opposition have to defend it Houdiaf Well, no stopping him. Has eyes for goal! Should have been awkward for the goalkeeper. And over it comes. But the keeper takes command. Another corner hot on the heels of the last one. Keen to take it short here. Janssen must score. Brilliantly blocked. So a personnel change then. <laughs> Trying to pick out a teammate. And they deal with the threat this time. This is a very tidy finish, as you can see. He's under so much pressure, but his strength just allows him to hit through the ball cleanly. It's an excellent goal. So the 
the match has restarted. 1 0 here. Into the final 20 minutes. Akram Afif. Abdulaziz Hatem. Well, a classic example of how to intercept. The pie. And space available inside. We're getting right on top of their opponents and winning it back. Now oh, that's fine goalkeeping. Real concentration. Well, they've decided to make a change. Let's see about the delivery. Not the result from the set piece they were looking for. Now showing excellent judgment to intercept. Hassan Alhaidos. Karim Budiach. Trailing as they are, they're not likely to get too many opportunities late in this game. Options in the centre. to get a body in the way Frankie de Jong two minutes of stoppage time coming up Bassam al Rawi. and Blint and there's the final whistle the Netherlands have won the game Stuart, your thoughts on their performance? Well, Derek, they didn't dominate the game by any means today, but overall they had the better of the chances and just about deserved their win. And a big part of the story, a high-level contribution from Steven Bergwijn. Stuart, sum up for us what impressed you most of all. Well, he obviously scored the winning goal, but it was his overall performance that impressed me most. He was on fire today. 